It's August and you might be wondering what are the best value GPUs to buy new that are available right now. So we're probably going to look at the $200 range, $300 range and $400 range. With the $400 range you can probably start going up to the 1440p resolution and have really good frame rates. But let's start with the $200 range. And yes, we do have cards right here. We have the RX 6600 from amd it comes with eight gigabytes of vram and you can see it's about 205 210 dollars but we also have the arc a750 from intel at around 200 dollars let's see how they stack up using uh, techpowerup.com we have the 6600 selected and we can see that the arc a750 can be even 10 percent faster in basically average performance probably takes into account some uh, ray tracing but in any case they are priced very similarly i would personally go with the amd option just because if you want to play like some older games you will have no issues with that the intel card might have some compatibility issues and you might struggle with that that's why my personal recommendation is the 6600 but the 750 is also okay if you do not mind the possible headaches with older games in newer games i think it's it's all right and intel is making really good progress with the driver support now you might be asking what about the RTX 3050, well, it's not only more expensive, but it's also slower than both of those cards that I mentioned. I think we need to scroll a bit up. And yeah, as you can see, it has 80% of the performance of the 6600. So it's not good. And also, no, you, you cannot play ray tracing. What are you going to do? Like 30 FPS? Is that really worth it? No. At this price point, you just want rasterized performance. I don't think it, even streaming is an option with, with these cards. Maybe at 720p, but for pure gaming uh, performance, these two make the most sense at $200. Between $200 and $300, we have a few more uh, options. I think we have the 6600 uh, XT but apparently it's a bit expensive now so scratch that we do not have this one we have the 6650 xt which is a bit faster and cheaper than the 6600 xt we also have the rx7600 which is 255 dollars the cheapest model available we probably also have the rtx 3060 12 gigabytes in this price range at 270 dollars i don't know about the 4060 yeah also we have the 4060 at 290 dollars so let's see how all these gpus uh, stack up with one another here we have the 7600 selected and uh, you can see 6650 7600 4060 they all basically have the same performance which is quite interesting and from my, what i've seen from other reviewers this is the case you could probably prefer the nvidia gpu because it might let you some ray tracing but they all do not have enough base rasterized performance to give you a good enough playable frame rate so you are better off with ray tracing off if you want like 60 frames per second if you are okay with 30 frames per second like if you're gonna play cyberpunk you're, you're not gonna have a good experience with uh, with even with the rtx 4060 in ray tracing performance again recommendation cheapest one of these three and the cheapest one is the 6650 xt coming at 235 dollars i mean you you could even say that you would skip the rx 6600 maybe and go for the 66 50 xt because you are getting 25 more performance for like 15 percent increase in price so if you only have 200 dollars 210 dollars maybe get the 6600 or arc uh, a750 but if you can find you know borrow from your brother from your sister from your uncle uh, another 30 dollars 6650 xt is like the best value gpu below 300 dollars there's none better i would go with the, the 7600 or the 4060 if they get a little bit cheaper like 7600 obviously 
it has the exact same performance as the 6650 they have to be the same price 4060 let's say i'm willing to pay like a 20 dollars premium because it has it does have better uh, ray tracing dlss is a bit better than uh, fsr i mean quality wise not performance like uh, frame rate wise but quality does look a bit better but uh, at 290 dollars it doesn't make sense when you have the 6650 xt at 235 dollars if we go in the bracket between 300 dollars and 400 dollars the best option i think is the 6700 xt but we will check it uh, it used to to come with at 310 dollars now it's 300 30 dollars if we check the relative performance we can see that we might have the 3060 ti and the 4060 ti in the same performance bracket maybe also even the 3070 but we'll see about the prices so let's check the 3060 ti it comes at 320 dollars so performance wise is okay but the 76 the 60 sorry 6700 xt has 12 gigabytes of vram so long term it would be a lot better especially that at this price point you can have a good uh, experience with 1440p resolution not only 1080p but also you can delve into 1440p easily again i think either or is okay but i would still prefer the 6700 xt just because you have the extra 4 gigabytes of vram 4060 ti let's check the prices but i think it's gonna be just way too expensive it comes uh, like 30 to 60 dollars more you do get dlss 3 frame generation but that's so niche only a few games have that and in order to have a good experience because uh, frame generations introduces lag basically you might have a high frame rate but it would it will not feel like a high frame rate you will have input lag basically and only a few games support it and at this price point it feels pretty bad to to pay this much for only eight gigabytes of of vram it's just not ideal let's put it that way i, I would love to to test these cards myself but i do not have the the budget to to buy all of them maybe some sometime in the future but of course with uh, with the viewer support but right now i'm just going with the data that i have available uh, on different on different sites so according to this data either the 3060 ti or the 6700 xt would be a good choice an okay choice but i would personally go with the rx 6700 xt just because it has better longevity if you don't care about longevity and you really prefer nvidia just go with nvidia my preference is longevity i don't want to change my gpus every two years i want to hold it at least like five years so maybe always keep one generation of gpus that's uh, longevity for me you can even skip two but that means you really need the, the extra vram from uh, what amd is offering right now we could go a bit over budget uh, if you really want some more vram we could go for the 6800 and the cheapest model comes at 430 dollars and if we go to the 6800 we can see that it comes with a performance uplift of 25 percent but the price uh, let's see if it makes sense 430 dollars divided by 330 yeah you're not getting that much performance wise but you are getting longevity because the 6800 comes with 16 gigabytes of vram so this is the cheapest card with 16 gigabytes of vram that actually makes sense because yes you could also go with a 770 which is the cheapest model is 300 dollars this is 250 but it's 8 gigabytes but uh, from what i know there's not a, a great performance uplift let's see if we can find the 770 yeah so as you can see even with 16 gigabytes of vram the a770 is 84 percent of the performance of the 6700 xt so it's not great even though you have uh, 16 gigabytes of vram 
but you know nvidia still uh, sorry uh, intel still has um, its issues with driver compatibility with uh, older games so keep that in mind i think the arc a750 makes a lot more sense than the 770 and as you can see there they are very very close in performance if you click uh, the 770 the 750 is 93 percent of the performance and it costs $100 less. So that's why the 770 doesn't make it into my recommendation. A 6800 could could do it. But if, if you really, really want the extra 4 gigabytes of VRAM above the 6700 XT. So you get the 16 gigabytes. And you have the budget, of course, because you are going over budget. It could make sense. And you do get quite nice performance. You're probably going to play on 1440p now because let's say it's not really overkill for 1080p, but you will have extraordinarily good performance for 1080p that you might want to bump it up to 1440p just to have like re really exceptional visuals. So that's my, those are my recommendations. Actually, let's go for the 3070. Let's see if they are still available and if they are at what price seems like the cheapest one comes at 380 dollars let's select the 6700 xt go to 3070 it only gives 13 percent more performance you get 8 gigabytes of vram uh, so what is that 380 divided by 313 15 percent so you don't get better value basically and you are also only getting 8 gigabytes of vram which it's starting to not be enough for games already it's starting to not be enough so for longevity again 6700 xt if you have the budget go for the 6800 because you, you will get a lot of longevity from that card yeah these are my recommendations for uh, budget-friendly gpus i hope it really helps you pick a, a gpu in your budget if you enjoyed the content you can show your support by leaving a like commenting subscribing and maybe even checking my patreon because i would love to to test these gpus myself but i need your guys' uh, help for that in order to buy this many gpus it's gonna be thousands of dollars and uh, i don't see that happening without your help so thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.